This worksheet is also on the S drive, and this is where we use our stoichiometry map, which I've written here, grams of A to moles of A. That would be step one, the molar mass. Moles to moles is always step two, which was the balanced equation. And then going from moles of B to grams of B, that was another molar mass step. When we deal with gas laws, we are not going to find the moles of a gas by weighing it out first. So the example, the first example we're going to look at, we're asked for a volume of oxygen. So we're looking for oxygen, so that's really B, and we're given information about H2O2. So that is A. And we're given a temperature and a pressure, and we're asked for a volume. So this is the volume of a gas. So we're going to start with grams of H2O2 and convert it to moles. And then from the balanced equation, we're going to convert moles of H2O2 to moles of oxygen, and we're going to stop right here. We are not going to do step three. Moles of oxygen will be the value that we're looking for in and we're going to plug that in to the ideal gas law and solve for volume. So I'm going to do that example, get some scratch paper here. And so here is our balanced chemical equation, and we've got two moles of H2O2, and that makes one mole of O2. So we do not need any information about the water. This we're going to use for the balanced equation step. And if we look at the problem, we're asked for a volume of oxygen gas. So volume of O2 is what we're after. The problem gives us a pressure and a temperature. So the pressure is in the correct unit, 0.867 atmospheres, and the temperature needs to be uh, put in degrees Kelvin. So we're going to add 273 to that. 11, carry the 1, oh, so this will be 301 degrees Kelvin. And we're going to be solving for, uh, well, well, we always know R, 0.0821, and N is equal to the moles of oxygen. So when we solve the ideal gas law, we're going to need uh, N in order to do that. So if we're looking for the volume, looking at this equation, PV equals NRT, we're going to divide both sides of the equation by P. So what we're looking for uh, in order to solve for the volume of a gas, we need the pressure, which is given. We need the temperature, which is given. R is always the same number. What we do not have are the moles of oxygen. Okay, so in order to, uh, we can't find out the volume of oxygen until we know the moles of oxygen. So if we go back to the original problem, we are not given the mass of anything except for the hydrogen peroxide. So we're going to take grams of H2O2 and convert it to moles of H2O2 with the molar mass and the periodic table. So we're going to do step one, and then we're going to do step two, which is using the balanced equation to convert from moles of hydrogen peroxide to moles of oxygen. So we need the balanced equation step, and at that point we're going to stop because that's going to be the value in that we're looking for. And once we know in, we're going to know this other variable, and then we're going to plug those values into this equation. So I'm going to start with the fact that we have one gram of hydrogen peroxide. If we go to the periodic table, oxygen weighs 16, and each hydrogen weighs 1. So this molar mass will be 34.016 grams of hydrogen peroxide per one mole of hydrogen peroxide. 
Now we go to the balanced equation, and for every two moles of H2O2, we have one mole of oxygen. So the balanced equation ratio goes here. It's one to two, and that's moles of H2O2, and this is moles of O2. So when we do that calculation, that's what N is going to be. So grams, I've read out of room here. Grams cancels grams, moles cancels moles. So the only unit remaining is moles of O2. So we plug that in. And six divided by two. So the number of moles I get for oxygen is 0 0.01469. We'll call that point zero one five moles of O2. Well, I guess I, well, I should do that. I'm going to use three significant figures, point oh four seven. So I'm going to round point oh one four six nine to point oh one four seven. And now we're going to plug that in because this was the missing number here. 0 0.0147. Now when I solve this equation, it says the volume equals N is this number, 0 0.0147, times R, 0.821T is 301, and we're going to divide it by P. So the P was already given in the correct unit. So when we do this, One times 301 divided by 0.867, and I get 0.419 liters. So the volume of the gas would be 0.419 liters, and if we check that with the answer, that's what we get there. Again, so this was the case of going from mass of something that's given to moles then going to the balanced equation and solving for moles of the gas. Then we plug that value in into the equation to solve for the volume.